Hey everyone, Shakira here from Stillaholics Anonymous. Today's video is going to be on how to make your own split monogram images. There are a lot of files on Etsy and uh, different websites. Some of them come as just fonts, but sometimes you want to take your own image and create your own. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay. So here I have a uh, a couple different images as well as just the letter S um, that I pulled from a font. So you can use any font in your computer. On this one over here, I took another design and kind of welded it to it just to give it some flair and just to add to it. So you can always take a regular letter and add vines or swirls or different things to it to make your own vine uh, monograms. So it's very, very easy to do. Um, I just have the, the different images so that I can show you a few times because it's going to be really, really easy, really, really simple, okay? So the first thing that I'm going to do is take a rectangle and put it over my image. Now, for me, what I like to do, I like to fill it in with white. I'm also going to remove the line color. This allows me to kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like and how big the void is. So I like to put that there while I kind of size it up. So for this one, I'm gonna go right to the tail and kind of right under the head for this particular image, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna just put the line color back on it and zoom into this part. Now, I'm going to go to my offset window. I'm going to do internal offset and the default is fine. No need to change it to anything else. And I'm going to hit apply. Now I'm going to hold down my shift key, click on the image, then go to modify, subtract. It's going to do its thing and it's going to subtract out the middle. Okay. So now that it's all subtracted, I'm going to take that rectangle, the original one, I'm gonna make a copy of it. So you can either right click and copy. When you see me do it the next time, I may end up using a keyboard shortcut. That keyboard shortcut is Control C. Then you want to paste it in front. So again, right click, paste in front. The next time I'll probably use the keyboard shortcut of Control F, so paste in front. Now I'm gonna take it from the bottom of this one and I'm gonna move it up to how wide I want my uh, bar to be. So right there is fine, I'm gonna leave it at uh, 0 0.120. Again, this will vary depending on your image, how much you have it zoomed in. You just kinda of have to have, you know, just get a good look, you know, just kinda of look at it and see how, you, how thick or thin you want that line. And on the screen it may look thicker than when you actually cut it out. So I'm gonna then bring the, the bottom one down and I'm gonna bring that down as well to 1.20. I'm gonna select both of these and kind of hold down shift and tab it over just a tad. Um, then what you wanna do is you're gonna select everything, the image that's split in a couple different parts and the bars and you're gonna hit weld from your modify window or you can use the weld right up here now that's going to weld it together it is going to give you two separate parts because uh, once you weld them together it will split it and make it two images if they're not touching now if you want the space in the middle a little bit bigger you can click on it and then i'm going to hold down my shift key to make it go faster you can you know move it up and down you can only do this with certain images without distorting the look of the image. Because if it goes to where you know it connects in a certain spot, it can look a little weird if you um, start to move it. But certain images, you can. Like the butterfly, I can do this so much. To me, this starts to look a little wonky and you start to wonder, okay, exactly where does it you know, go in at? Butterflies are supposed to be a little bit delicate. So for me, I probably would bring this back down just a tad and kind of just work in this area only for my name, okay? So that's that. So now I'm gonna do it again, just so that you can catch it again. So rectangle, put it across the middle. Again, I like to fill it with color, with white, just so that I can kind of see where my void is going to be. 
With this image, because it's completely round, I'm also going to just select it and then go align, align center, just to make sure that my bar is centered. And I think it's a little bit long, so I'm going to bring it in some. All right. So now, again, click on it. I'm going to go offset, internal offset, apply, hold down my shift key, select the image, go to modify, subtract, click on the rectangle, copy, paste in front, move my bar up, Click on the bottom one and move it down. And I forget what I did this one at 2.3. Select them all and weld. And there you have it. Mm. See, like with this one, you start to move it too much. It may not look as round, um, but, you know, you can kind of move it if you need a little bit more space for the name. All right, so now I'm going to show you one more time, and I'm going to this time kind of um, explain why I do the method that I do, okay? So I'm going to put the rectangle. This time I'm not going to fill it with color. Um, I kind of know with this one where I want it to be. And I'm going to do an internal offset, apply. And I'm gonna fill this one with color so that I can fully explain. Now, the reason why I do the internal offset, when you weld, you have to have some type of overlap in order for it to weld properly. If I were to, I'm going to actually just make a duplicate of this whole thing. Okay, and so I'm gonna go here. If I were to get rid of this one, and let's say um, I I uh, just did where it stands. So I'm going to go Control C, Control F, um, click the image, and then I'm going to subtract. Okay. Then I'm going to Control C, Control F to paste it in front, move this one up move this one down and I'm also going to remove the color okay so I'm gonna select them all and I'm gonna weld it here up here it did weld it um, I guess it was kind of over the line a little bit but down here it did not weld because those lines were not overlapping I think when I clicked it it moved it up some but you can see right here it did not weld properly in this area and that is because there was no overlap. So when you do it this way to where you do the internal offset, what you are subtracting is, a, is inside the box that you want to weld. So you're going to have automatically have that overlap. You're going to lose all of this area anyway. It just makes it easier where you don't have to go back in there and fiddle around with it and, you know, try and figure out if it's overlapping. By doing it this way, you know for sure that there is going to be overlap between um, the skinny bar and the image. Now, I'm going to actually click on it and click here and subtract. Now. The reason why I do it to where I go and I copy and then paste in front is so that I have the exact same spacing top and bottom. You can go and I see a lot of people they'll do it and they'll do the subtract and then they'll create another thinner rectangle and then try and place it. Now you can't do it that way but you may not get it to where it's the exact same amount of spacing between um, like on the top and the bottom and what I mean by that is if I go and I'm just going to I'm going to make a copy of this and paste it in front and I'm going to shrink it down like this okay so if I go and I try and place this right when you go without I'm going to make those white actually make it no line no line 
but you really can't see it. So even if you bring it like right there to, you know, the edge, if I bring another one down here, I mean, I could bring it to the edge, but it may not be right on. For some people, they don't really care if it's, you know, the same amount of space when they weld the bar. So, you know, that doesn't really matter for them. If it doesn't matter for you, it's fine. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, doing the pace in front and then shrinking down the two bars. If you want to do it this way, it's fine. If you don't mind it not being, you know, the exact same spacing, because I can make this one technically come way down here and I'll weld it. And technically it will look kind of sort of the same, um, but it just won't be even all the way around. And then you also take the chance of when you're placing them, if one is too far or too far over, which is an easy fix like this one. This one is a little bit further um, to the left. So I can select them both and come up here to the alignment tool and I can either align left or I can align center. Um, you know, I could have done either one of those, but it just creates an additional step which is why I just like to, no, 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 uh -oh. okay, so here and here, I'm going to delete those, and there are my original bars, put my line color back on it, I'm just going to click on one, bring it up, and I have to zoom out so I can see the numbers on the side, so 0.179, and 0.1, and it doesn't want to give me the exact number now. That's so weird. It's off by one, but that's fine. And then I'm going to select it and then just weld it. OK, so that just kind of gives you an idea of why I do it the way that I do it. Um, again, there are, there are a couple different ways that you can uh, accomplish the exact same thing. You know, to me, it just takes a few more steps. I like to use keyboard shortcuts. So for me, it takes little to no time to create those monograms. Yeah, for some reason it keeps jumping. And all done. All right. So hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to ask. You can leave them in a comment below. If you're watching this uh, via a post in one of my Facebook groups, you can go ahead and leave us a comment below in there as well. I'll be more than happy to answer for you. You can also email me. My email will be in the description box if you're watching via YouTube. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. And if you're not a member of my Facebook group, Silaholics Anonymous, that link is also in the description box. Feel free to go ahead and click on that and join the group. All right, until next time, guys, have a great one.